This is a Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 17th of July. It's the morning edition. I'm James Spann. Still the chance of a few scattered storms today, but as the week progresses, the weather should trend a little hotter, a little drier, as an upper ridge begins to build in. There's the water vapor satellite view across the continental United States early this morning. And there's still a little bit of a weakness in the ridge down here. And again, that should open the door for scattered convection today. In fact, that was the radar early this morning at 5.09. We had a few scattered showers at that point over East Alabama's Cherokee and Cleburne counties. And also a few showers in Walker County around Jasper and Carbon Hill, Carbon Hill and Townley early this morning. And again, it's not going to rain everywhere today. But some folks could see a passing shower or storm. We don't expect the kind of deluge we had over the weekend at parts of the Birmingham metro that caused some flooding problems. Temperatures are in the 70s, and dew points are mostly in the 70s, which means the air is not any drier. The exception is Fort Payne with a dew point of 68, but again, that is obviously a maritime tropical air mass we have this morning. On the watch warning map around the nation, flash flood watches for parts of Arizona. It's their monsoon season. Some heat issues for parts of Missouri, Kansas, and Illinois. Otherwise, things are pretty quiet. A couple of severe weather risks well to the north of here. We're in green. That means scattered storms, but organized severe weather not expected. Tomorrow, risk of severe weather for cities like Minneapolis, St. Paul, Madison, Wisconsin, Des Moines, Iowa. But not down here. And on day three, which is Wednesday, just a small marginal risk up north. We have green. That means there might be a storm in spots. Severe weather not expected. You can see that ridge developing to the west with no rain expected, no storms over Texas, Oklahoma, and some of the adjacent states. And that trend is reflected in the rain for the next seven days. Ballot through Monday morning of next week. If this verifies no rain for cities like Memphis, Little Rock, and Dallas, and Alabama, the amount's pretty light for the northern half of the state. And down to the south, scattered storms could bring an inch or so of rain to spots down there. But the distribution will not be very even. Hey, a little tropical action. A couple of waves in the wave train off in the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, we'll focus on number one, which is the lead wave with a higher chance of developing over the next five days. Got it, uh, I think, a 40% chance of developing. And this looks like another very low latitude system. Uh, that'll be coming across the Windward Islands late this week. That second wave should recurve and probably not develop. Modeling, and by the way, this is Invest 95L on the lead wave. You can see most models bring it across the windwards, very close to the northern tip of South America and then into Central America in five days with no northward motion. And this is the GFS Ensemble, and again, uh, pretty much the same deal. In fact, the Ensemble mean takes it into uh, the South American coast and dissipates that. So for now, it seems like no issues up this way with that. So model fans, here we go. This is the GFS, the 06E run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And you can see there's still a little bit of a trough over the eastern U.S. with the ridge to the west. So we'll mention scattered showers and storms this afternoon. This is the uh, HRRR at 3 o'clock, suggesting the more numerous showers and storms south of Interstate 20 with hardly any up in the Tennessee Valley. And that's probably right. And I'd say the high day will be around 90. Keep in mind, we have deep soil moisture now, and that tends to offset the uh, heat we can see during the afternoon. Tomorrow, well, the ridge begins to build. We'll mention widely scattered storms, but many spots will likely be dry with a high in the low 90s. And again, Wednesday, the trend toward hotter, drier weather continues with the ridge. Uh, we could see mid-90s in spots. And this is Thursday, back in the upper levels. You can see that big old 594 ring expanding to cover much of the country. And that uh, would be mostly hot and dry. But understand, the chance of rain is not zero. There's always a chance it'll pop up shower somewhere Thursday afternoon. But most spots will be dry with mid-90s. And the same thing on Friday. What's that weekend weather going to do? Not a lot of change. The ridge is the dominant feature, so Saturday looks mostly sunny and hot with mid-90s. The Sunday, the ridge begins to weaken a bit. There could be a few scattered storms, but still a good deal of sunshine. And this is Monday, and you can see the heights are coming down. The mid-latitude westerlies are dropping south, and that should open the door for a better chance of scattered showers and storms Monday of next week with a high around 90. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is Wednesday of next week, the 26th, 594 heat to the west, troughing over the east, and at that's right, 
we'd have a chance of scattered showers and storms and heat levels not that bad. In fact, check the numbers coming off the GFS. You can see the push up toward the mid-90s later this week, but uh, tries to bring highs back down into the 80s for the end of July and the 1st of August, which is typically the hottest part of summer. We're not ready to buy into that yet. It's an interesting idea, but I wouldn't be shocked it was a tad hotter which it typically is around here this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.